What's up guys, welcome to tutorial number 18 and today we're going to learn how to play a random audio clip from an array. Very easy, read the brief, it takes like two seconds and then let's go have some fun. Head over to Unity, create a new C-sharp script, right clicking and call it play random sound and get a habit of saving all the time, control S, do it like every three seconds probably. And then um, delete the update. We don't need it for this particular instance. And then uh, we need what? We need an audio source, an audio clip. So we'll do the audio source first. And I like to call it underscore as, but call it whatever you like. And then, and just for learning purposes, I like to have it public so you can see inspector what's going on. Probably best practice to make it private, but anyway. And then the array definitely needs to be public so we can add our sounds to it. And uh, it's an audio clip and it's an array. Audio clip. And call it um, audio clip array. Just so, and it's array so put the brackets up. Um, just to keep things clear and we, we know what it is. And I like to copy it ahead of time, control C, because you're pretty sure you're gonna use it later on. Um, so we got all that set up and the first thing we need to do is cache money that audio clip array. So in our awake function, we're going to do what with it? We're going to say, oh, sorry, did I say audio clip array? As. We're going to say as is equal to get component and we're getting the audio source component. And I, I saw somebody the other day, um, put get component in the update. Don't do that. You cache money it right here in the wait function. That's how you do that. And then we need to go and into the start function and we're just gonna go, mm, we have to get the as.clip. Look at this goodness. Look at it tells you clip right there. And well, it's gonna be equal to random. Look, you can paste it. This is why I could paste it. Random audio clip array. It's array, so put the brackets, put that guy in, semicolon. And then we're gonna have to do random dot range function. And that takes two arguments, two floats, I believe. And there it goes. Min max, so it'll start at zero, and the max would be the audio clip array dot length. Audio clip dot array array. And you can go through and see it tells you look it tells you everything there it is length and then now that we got a random number from the array we're going to play it so all you got to do to play it is underscore as dot play one shot and what are we going to play we're going to say as clip underscore as dot clip which is what the clip is this some number one, two, three in our case, and we're gonna play it. And now we need to stick that on a game object. So good, the Unity gods were very kind to us today. Right click in the hierarchy. You can just write Tom, Till. Yeah, uh, create empty, zero it out. And I like to do this because it's fine. It's easier for me to find the script. I like to put a couple underscores in there. Um, it tells me that there's a script on it. You don't have to do that. I like to do it. Uh, up to you. And just call it um, play random sound. That, that works fine, right? Click and drag the script on there. Now the fun part. Look at this. Look at this goodness. How big is your array? My array is three. How big is yours? And then go over here. I loaded three sounds in earlier. And it sounds zero, zero, one, two. And I like to, um, my naming convention, I like to do zero, so I can have zero, one, two. And it lines up with the array elements. I think it's probably good practice, but you can do it backwards if you want. It would be easier for you down the road if you do it backwards. So what should happen is when we start the game, since this is in the start function, which should be called once, we should get one of these sounds should be randomly played. Let's find out what happens. 
Play. You see what happened? Nothing happened. Why? There's no audio freaking source on it. Audio source add. Now let's let's now the magic. Fruity magic. Wow. Damn. <laughs> it's tight. So when he gets all excited when he takes off, he got to say something. Let's try again. So you can see it works. He's playing. He's playing something random. Yeah. All right. So in case you can't tell what he's saying, go in your sounds folder and you can play a sound right here. Subscribe. Oh. Like. Oh. Ring the ding. So he's saying subscribe, like, and ring the ding. That sounds pretty good to me, guys. Anyways, please like, subscribe, ring the ding if that's what you're into. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial, 19 and then 20. I think we're going to wrap it up at 20, and then we'll start a new project. Thanks, guys. Happy coding. See ya.